morning everyone today is friday march 15th and today we will cover the trades for tsly cony and msty as of yesterday thursday march 14th um obviously i'm sorry the video is a little late today but i did sleep in <coughs> i took off of work and i got to sleep in a little bit um, what you see on the screen is i d actually did my first interview yesterday uh, which i posted yesterday afternoon uh, it was with Sylvia Jablonski from Defiance. <clears throat> she's, the, she's the CEO and CIO of Defiance. So, um, you know, it was my first interview. <clears throat> I didn't know what I was doing. Very, very nice lady. Um, so I thought it went pretty well. Uh, but if you guys have, you know, I just want to, again, give a shout out to Sylvia for being, you know, obviously a very nice lady. Um, you know, down to earth. So if you guys are interested in that interview, uh, please check it out. I'll pin... The, uh, the video on the top of the comments of this video. Anyway, let's get to it. So look at this disaster, all right? Transactions galore, which, you know, days like this, it's not easy, you know, not to complain, but good Lord. I mean, what in the hell? So I'll try to recap it pretty quick. And there's actually an error that I just saw, um, but okay. So from the top, BC, right by the close they closed out the synthetic 185 so they bc by the close put you know and they're gonna pay a pretty penny and then they s <coughs> is the sell call they had a call to sell and they did not make much because again you know the synthetics don't do well when the stock the underlying is not doing well uh third and fourth lines you know that's the new position the new synthetic b b's uh buy call s for the sell put so they added those 880 um, contracts into the 170 strike. Um, also, <clears throat> they closed out the 220 synthetic. <clears throat> but if you look, they have the BC next to the call. That should that should say S next to the call because they sell the call. So obviously, you know, not, I don't know, whatever. It got screwed up. And then they have the S by the put. They're not selling the put. They're BC in the put. They buy to close the put. But regardless, we'll move on. Um, so they closed the 220 synthetic. That's all you need to know. Uh, the next lines, they did a, a buy call sell put for adding the 29,445 contracts to the 170 as well. Um, same amount of contracts, which tells me, you know, there was not many people that sold out yesterday. So they did not have to reduce the amount of contracts that they're selling. So maybe, you know, for the people that sold, we had people that bought, bought in. They saw it as a discount. And then last but not least, on the bottom, they sold, no, they BC'd on, on the very bottom. They closed out the 187.50, uh, 11,635 contracts, and then they opened a new position into next week for a 172.50. I know that's a lot of information for a screen print, so it's much easier to look at here. But again, I try to cover it a little on the visual intraday trades just in case people are tracking on their own and they're trying to understand them. All right, so here's the 220. Um, it's it's done, we can move on with our lives. We can talk about it now and then move on. So <clears throat> of course, very damaging, very damaging. Um, you see how much they had to pay for that put, 168 million, okay? So, you know, no need to harp on it anymore, but in the end, March, um, you know, the 220 for March, the damage is 172 million. <clears throat> Again, it was already in the nav, but now it's a taxable event, so it's an actual loss on the books. All right, let's move on to the 185. This one, unfortunately, was also a loss because again, look at Tesla price. It's at 162.50. The strike of this, you know, was 185. So, you know, the put cost 1.9 million, but again, they had only 880 contracts left over for whatever reason. But when all said and done, um, the 185 synthetic, not that well, $17.5 million loss on the books. Okay, now we can finally move on with our lives. So the, yesterday they opened, or two days ago, they opened the uh, a 175 synthetic with 11,635 contracts. Um, so, you know, this one, they didn't add to yesterday, but you know, obviously, because Tesla kept going down. So now they have two synthetics, but really close in price, which to me, that, 
Like, what's the point? You might as well just keep it in one. But, you know, maybe they're making, they want to make my life miserable. I don't know. All right. So currently this synthetic is, would cost 12.6 million <clears throat> to close. But again, this expires May 17th. So that information is kind of irrelevant. Uh, this is the 170. So they added the 880 contracts yesterday and then the 29,445. Um, it actually made $16 million um, in opening that because the put credit was higher than the buy call. So, you know, that again, but Tesla price is, you know, below the even the 170. But at least we got some 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 gains here. Right. And then if Tesla goes above the strike by 517, which I would expect it would. then guess what? We'll collect more profits from this synthetic. So but we'll see how things go been a rough time for uh tesla and tesla shareholders it's not easy but it's part of the game you know there's risk all right so price tesla went down i'm gonna zoom out a little there you go tesla went down 4.12 percent yesterday tesla went down 4.26 percent <clears throat> tesla went down more uh because they had to pay out you know obviously the damage of the synthetics so that's kind of expected um, <clears throat> they closed out, yeah, they closed out 11,000 contracts at the top. You see, they only paid four cents. So this one was a profitable uh, position. Uh, in the end, they made 2.5 million with that move. So again, their weekly calls are doing very well. Um, and obviously they do very well when the underlying tanks, <clears throat> but at the flip side, the synthetic does not do very well. All right. So cash and treasuries. Um, yeah, cash is terrible negative 98 million treasuries you know they they're gonna have to pull from there um but in the end the net change is 151 million dollars but that's because of this synthetic <clears throat> all right because now it went from you know reflected again it's, it was already reflected in the nav right you saw it on the put on the balance sheet every day on that last you know the holdings so it now moves from there to cash, if that makes sense. <clears throat> so that's why it's always reflected in the nav, whether it's a physical trade yet or not, you know, then that depends where it lies. But overall, uh, net income on the weekly call is 11.1 million. We're looking at a total distribution of 25 cents, daily income of 3 cents per day and daily yield of 0.21%. So again, they're, they're winning their weekly calls, <clears throat> but... You know, they're, they're, uh, you know, the, the underlying's bad lately, just bad. All right, let's, let's, let's go to the active tab. We got 8,800, actually, let me go from bottom to top. This is the lowest strike, 11,635 contracts with a 172.50 strike. This is 6.15% out of the money. <clears throat> this is the lowest strike, and this one expires next week. Uh, so we have six trading days for that one, which we'll see. Um, but... You know, we're scattered, but by accident at this point. We'll see if they keep it scattered going into next week. Uh, 21,480 contracts with a 183.33 strike. That's 12.82% out of the money. That expires today, today being Friday, March 15th. And then we have 8,845 contracts with a 187.50 strike, 15.38% out of the money. <laughs> just wondering like why like yesterday or the day before even like why not roll these down and collect a little more premium is it not worth the risk for them i don't know i just feel like they could roll it down and still capture like another day or two full days of you know time value and the lower strike i don't know that's just just question question for jay if i ever decide to interview him but <clears throat> all right tesla price 162.50 30 day iv oh 50 percent not bad Charts, yes, ugly as usual. Tesla price is fourteen eighty five. Yes, that's pretty embarrassing. Post reverse split, but let's hope things get better. Potential capital gains, dollar seventy one, and this reaction is not the it's not the Tesla fund manager. It's us. You know, we're all frustrated with Tesla movement, but I think there's a you know better times are in the future for sure. I think things will get better, but you know once. Tesla goes down, it goes down, right? So I'm not shying away. My swing trading is in full mode. I'm buying, you know, five shares per day. Every day it dips. I don't give a damn. I'm, I'm, I'm getting in this. 
people may say that's stupid uh, or smart, but who knows? I'm, I'm buying, all right? I'm not buying Tesla because, again, I'm over-allocated. So that's, that's the problem with being over-allocated on something. You can't average down. I mean, if you can't, you can, but it's not ideal to, you know, your goals and your situation. But anyway, curve, no update, 100 contracts, 230 strike, 41% out of the money. Like, they could roll this down too. Like, why not? I don't know. Move your strike down. I mean, are they hitting 230 by April 19th? I don't think so, but you never know. But why not collect more premium? I mean, are, are these active or not? Like, what, what's going on here? Anyway, payment information. Good Lord. We were waiting for the synthetic debit. Here it is. Welcome to the party, synthetic debit. $171 million. Wow. Okay. Way to ruin it. Way to ruin our net income for March. Our net income for March, minus our gains for the short call income of $11 million, is $160 million loss. So total income per share, negative 358. So we'd have to pay them out. We'll have to pay Tesla fund managers 358 since we lost money. No, I'm just kidding. No, but we have to, we just have to look at the short call income. We're looking at 25 cents per share, which, you know, that's not good. It's not great. So, I mean, it's okay. It's not great by any means. So hopefully um, they capture more. But, you know, unfortunately, I think Tesla eventually is going to have to have a lower yield. Unless the volatility picks up, um, they need to just, you know, settle with a lower yield. But I know they, I think Jay said he strives for a yield of the IV, so 50%. But we'll see. We'll see how things go. Outstanding holdings, not much to cover, except the focus will be the net asset value. It's now, on you know, $666 million. So, wow, forget forget a bill, you know, forget a billion. That ain't happening anytime soon. But we need we need Tesla to do its job. Come on, Tesla. Come on, Elon. Let's do something. You know, they're killing the EV news, but what about Tesla's other stuff, right? All this AI, AI stuff. Let's let's get some news out there, man. All right, we got fourteen eighty six Nav and fourteen eighty five trade price. Let's take a look at the pre market. What do you think? Green, red, purple, yellow. What do we got? Uh, drum roll. Oh, wow. It's so green. No, it's only 0.94% green. Um, so Tesla price is showing 164.03. So, hey, I'll take it. That's the garbage truck if you hear it because I'm in the garage. Um, next is... Well, no, I said I'll do Coney next. So I'll do Coney next. I know the Coney people are like, come on. Come on, bro. What are you doing? Nobody cares about Tesla, right? Anyway, <clears throat> Coney. They had no trades. So they're synthetic 250. You know, I updated the numbers. Coin has actually been going down. So Coin is below the 250 strike of the synthetic. So it would cost them 22.9 million to close their synthetic. But again, that expires April 19th. So sort of irrelevant. But so let's go right to the March tab and see how the numbers were yesterday. Um, Coin went down 7.17%. Ouch. Coney went down a little less, 7.06%, but it's still at 25 bucks. Not bad. Again, no, no nothing with the contract. They just have the one position. Cash and treasuries, what are we looking at? Uh, negative cash getting a little better, uh, but overall net change, 21,000. Again, not much going on. Uh, sh weekly income is a debit of 13.7 million, so we can move on from this tab. Active tab again. We just have the one strike. Fifteen thousand three hundred and twenty contracts with a two ninety five strike. Twenty six percent out of the money that expires today. Come on, come on, Coney. You can go up. You can go up twenty six percent. We'll capture all of it today. Thirty day IV eighty five percent. Still pretty decent. Coin price two thirty three sixty seven. Very attractive chart. Uh, 2540 is the price of Coney, which is really good. Again, look at those gains we can get, but that's not happening. Let's be real. Coney fund managers, very happy because they're going to win. You know, they're going to win a weekly call. You know, they win them here and there, but it, they're not easy, easy to come by. So congrats, Coney fund manager. All right. Uh, synthetic income on Coney, much better than Tesla because it's actually income. They made 86 million. Short call income. Uh, or should I say loss, 18 million. They, that may turn into an income soon because they've been, they've been winning. Um, 
when all said and done, net income is 68 million on this. So we're looking at what, 495 per share as of today. But yeah, that, they're not they're probably not gonna pay out that something that massive anyway. Um, holdings, again, they just had the position. It'll cost them two cents to close as of yesterday. So they're, you know, they're gonna win. They're gonna win that move. Uh, net asset value, 348 million. The NAV is 2533 and the trading price is 2540. So, what about pre-market? Is 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 Coney gonna be or Coin and Coney gonna be a buying opportunity? Let's see. They keep dipping. Oh damn, they are dipping. Two hundred nineteen dollars for Coin price. I am, I almost bought Coin yesterday for my swing trading, but I haven't started my newest position. I was waiting for them to go down, and here it is. They're going down. Wow, down six. 0.09% in the pre-market. Oh boy. Let's see. Um, let's, let's, speaking of crypto, let's look at MSTR. Three trades, okay? Three trades, what do you think? All right, adding to the synthetic, adding a weekly call. You know, simple. I like it. Very simple. Buy call, sell put. But look, look at that strike. It doesn't look familiar, right? It's $1,700. So they, they're finally starting a new strike price. And then they're selling, obviously, uh, a weekly call expiration date uh, tomorrow. Or t yesterday they did it, and it was tomorrow. So one day. Wow. They usually don't do that. But with their IV, why not? I could do what they want. You know, it, it helps to have an extremely high IV, but it's, obviously it's very risky. So the Synthetic 950 still remains. They did not close it. However, they did not add to it. So that's a good thing because, again, it was costing them money. So if they closed out this position today, I'm showing 11.4 million. Obviously, as Miss, Mr. Mr. goes up, MSTR, um, as will, you know, our buy call value. So we'll see what happens today if they decide to roll it. But they still have time. Uh, this synthetic expires March 28th. Let's take a look at their new synthetic. This is a $1,700 strike. This expires uh, April 19th. What did we say this one was? All right, so we got March 28th and April 19th. So they opened it, 10 contracts, um, net net $15,000 credit. So that gets added to the March profits. And um, again, right now, MSTR is priced a little below the 1,700 strike. But at least they started the new uh, synthetic. <laughs> All right, yesterday MSTR went down. It's like a, it's, it's amazing. It's, it actually went down. I didn't think this stock was beatable, um, but it went down by five point zero six percent. And then the um, MSTY. I feel like I screwed something up here. Did I even check the formulas? B twenty five minus B twenty four. Yeah. Only. I'm showing MSTY only went down 0.15%. And to be honest, I mean, I don't know how. Um, I mean, if it goes down, obviously, if it goes down in price, that helps the weekly calls. Did it help them that much? I just, I mean, oof. If it did, that's a miracle. If not, I screwed up. Either way, um, they added this trade, 10 contracts, $1,900 strike. Um, that expires today, one day, 13% out of the money for one day. Wow. Cash and treasuries uh, went up overall 2.9 million. And outstanding shares, 775,000. So this one's growing. This is a fund that's growing. This is a very crazy fund for sure. All right, here we go. 105 contracts, the majority, six, 1,620 strike, 3.39% in the money. This looks much better than it did yesterday. So if MSTR can continue to go down, they're going to win. They're going to win this weekly contract. That'll be awesome. <clears throat> awesome for you guys, the misty, the misty holders. Not me. I'm still waiting for, I don't even know anymore. 50 contracts, 1,700 strike, 1.38% 1 out of the money. That's, you know, that's... At least in month, you know, it's sitting pretty. Um, Twelve contracts, nineteen hundred strike. Uh, again, this expires today too. Thirteen percent out of the money. Thirty day IV, one hundred and sixty one percent. Good God. MSTR price sixteen seventy six. MSTY price thirty nine fifty five. 
Potential gains, 54 cents. Misty Fund Manager just like closing their eyes. Please, 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 let me win. I want to win. Let me look smart here. All right, payment information. They still have not rolled that synthetic, so we're at a loss. $2.9 million loss in the synthetic, 72000 loss on the short calls. So a $3 million net income loss. So obviously, you know, we're not showing any payment information. But when they roll that synthetic, get ready for what that calculates to be. It's going to be very exciting. Um, here's the contracts and how much they would cost to close each one. Oh, actually, I know I'm highlighting the um, FGXX. By the way, I asked Sylvia about why they are buying the, the new money market. And she said it's simply because of the higher interest. So... At least I got the answer on that. I was probably the only one curious about that, uh, why they're not using treasuries. But obviously, you know, this uh, <clears throat> this fund is clearly paying more. Oh, and, and it's also, I believe, more liquid. Um, although she said the treasuries are also pretty liquid, but I believe this is a little more liquid uh, than the treasuries. So here's the three that they have to close today. So hopefully they become a profit. We will find out. Uh, what do we got? Net asset value thirty million. Nav thirty nine forty one, and trade price of thirty nine fifty five. Okay, so we said the strike is sixteen twenty, right? The strike of sixteen twenty. What is the break even? We're getting really close here. The break even, oh, the lowest break even we'll use is sixteen sixty six. Okay, so we need to be below sixteen sixty six. Let's look at pre market. Here we go. Here we go. Holy crap. Look at that. We are down 4.46% and we are at, we are below the break even. So we're making money right now. So we're at 1603.10. But you know, look at, look how fast this one moves. Like it's, it's just so crazy, but you gotta love it. You know, that that's IV right there, man. IV at its best. So Big day for Misty shareholders. We we could have a win. We could have a, a solid win on all of them. There's a chance. Looks like Coney and Tesla are going to win all of their trades. So that's good. Uh, Tesla, you know, it's not so good. The synthetic, but at least, you know, we can move on from the old synthetic and have, you know, think positive now going forward. So hopefully Tesla can turn things around. Um, you know, we'll see where, where the, the drop ends at right you know maybe things will turn around coney who knows you know crypto bull run still in full force but maybe there's a slight sell-off at the moment and then it'll go back up but time will tell is it worth it to buy coney is it worth it to buy misty i have no idea so don't ask me is it worth it to buy tesla i'm never going to answer that question because you know tesla is just not behaving the way we want it to but anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button. Uh, I know it's late, sorry, but regardless, hit that like button. If you have to watch it at your lunch at work, I know I missed a lot of the commuters who listen to this in the morning. So yeah, maybe they can get catch it on the way home or something. But either way, as always, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This video is for fun and entertainment. Um, so hopefully you had fun, you're entertained. And real quick, FYI, I'm not going to be interviewing like crazy, just so you guys know. I know like the comments already. All right, can you interview Jay now? Like, no, like I'm not, I don't want, that's, I don't have, it's hard for me to do that. Like, because it, it takes time to set up. It takes, you know, I don't, plus I don't have like peace and quiet here all the time. So it's really hard for me to actually do interviews. Um, sometimes it interferes. I have to take off work and things like that. So, it uh. <laughs> I, it doesn't mean I'm not going to do, another, I'm going to do more interviews. It's just, I have to figure it out. I'm, I'm not rushing it. I'm just going to, you know, play it by ear. Um, but, you know, some, you know, I may reach, like, obviously, I think um, your Curve reached out to me already. Roundhill reached out to me too. Um, Yieldmax did not, actually. Uh, but, but Defiance did, I think, on behalf. And they did mention Jay. So, you never know. Jay, if, if I do have this, another one it'll probably be jay at some point for sure because obviously i have you know i understand his funds more than the majority of the funds but i think uh you know i think the first one went well so it makes me want to do do more in time uh just not rushing it all right i don't want to abuse it i want to keep the content to what it's been and then obviously if i throw an interview here and there every one one or two months then that's fine 
Um, but we'll see. Anyway, I got to go. Um, hope you guys enjoy your day. And uh, we will talk tomorrow. Later.